today I will explain you about realistic design by Jacob Nelson. Let's go. Realistic design by Jacob Nelson. Visibility of system status. Match between system and the real world. User control and freedom. Consistency and standards. Error prevention. Recognition rather than recall. Flexibility and efficiency of use. Aesthetic and minimalist design. Help user recognize, diagnose, and recover from errors. Help and documentation. Visibility of system status. Visibility of system status. The system should always keep user informed about what is going on through appropriate feedback within reasonable time. Mesh between system and the real world. User control and freedom. Mesh between system and the real world. The system speak the user's language to the user rather than system-oriented terms. User control and freedom. User often choose system function by mistake and will need a clearly marked emergency exit to leave the unwanted state without having to go through an extended dialogue support under and redo. Consistency and standard. Consistency and standard. Users should not have to wonder whether different words, situation, or action means the same thing. Error prevention. Error prevention. Prevent a problem from occurring in the first place. Either eliminate error prone condition or check for them and present users with a confirmation option before they commit for the action. Recognition rather than recall. Recognition rather than recall. Minimize the user's memory. The user don't need to remember information from one part of the dialog to another instruction should be visible whenever appropriate. Flexibility and efficiency of use. Flexibility and efficiency of use. Accelerators, unseen by the novice user, may often speed up the interaction for the expert user such that the system can cater to both inexperienced and experienced users, allow users to tailor frequent action. Aesthetic and minimalist design. Aesthetic and minimalist design. Dialogue should not contain information which is relevant or rarely needed. Every extra unit of information in a dialogue compete with the relevant unit of information and diminish their relative visibility. Help users recognize, diagnose, and recover from errors. Help users recognize, diagnose, and recover from errors. Error messages should be expressed in plain language, basically indicate the problem and constructively suggest a solution. Help and documentation. Help and documentation. It is better if the system can be used without documentation. It may be necessary to provide help and documentation. Any chest information should be easy to just focus on the user test to be carried out. Conclusions This guideline are general rules of thumb and will mostly be applicable to any web and mobile application with some exception 